What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to our channel, guys. I'm Rod. I'm here with my dad. Rod Sr. And we are Bridging, Bridging the, the Gap. Gap. Yes, sir. The boys is back with another fire reaction video for you. If you guys enjoy our reaction videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment and let us know what we should react to next. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every single time we drop a new video. And if you like our videos but you want to see the uncut, unedited versions, then check out our Patreon. The link is down below in the description. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. So uh, we listened to Texas Hold'em by Beyonce a couple weeks ago. We we know that she's dropping a, a country-inspired album, and it is here. Cowboy Carter has released today by Beyonce. What do you think about that, Dad? I'm excited. I, I was when I first heard the first song. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I thought to myself, "Man, she's got to do a whole album." Yeah, and then. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so yeah, I'm 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 anxious to hear it. I, I'm a, a country music fan. So. Yeah, and I really like that um, her lead single uh, Texas Hold'em. I think that's a jam. So yeah. I'm excited to hear this as well. Uh, this is, have you seen the cover here? What do you think about the? Uh, the I think cover it's pretty art? cool, man. She's sitting on a white stallion. Boy, that's a nice horse too. By the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then she's out in her red, white, and blue cowboy Carter. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm rocking with that for sure. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, let's check out Beyonce's look at the new hair. Album. I know. Look at that freaking <laughs> hair. It's so long and just flowing. <laughs> yeah, Beyonce is such a baddie. She is. Uh, <laughs> she <laughs> she's so cool. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get right into it. Cowboy Cowboy Carter, Beyonce, track number one, American Requiem. All right. Nothing really is. <laughs> the things that stay the same, they have to change again. It started out nice. It's beautiful. my old friends. It's changed your name, but not the way Is that a harmonica I heard in the back? Kind of tuned in. American Okay. Nice. It's good. It's a lot of talking going on. Let me make myself clear. Can you hear me? Do you feel me? Can we stand for something? Now is the time to face the wind. Covered in peace and love, y'all. And the rejection came, said I wasn't country enough. Said I uh -oh. wouldn't settle up. Right. When I sang my song, the harmonies are something else. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful fair weather friends. I am the one that cleansed me of my father's sins. American Requiem. The big ideas, yeah. I'm buried here, yeah. That is track number one, American Requiem. What do you think about that one, Dad? Well, she she opened it up with a beautiful song, and uh, she had uh, an in, intentional message uh, with that. I'm glad she addressed that. Yeah. Um, because I never did. Uh, well, I just didn't think that um, the backlash was going to be, uh, the, you know, the way it was with her, and and it wasn't to me. I didn't think it was fair. I mean, I guess people are intimidated by yeah. breaking in on their what they call their music, but mm -hmm. it's everybody's music, right? So, but the 
of the song in particular, man, she gave you some background about where she came from. Mm -hmm. You know, she said she's a grand grandbaby of a moonshine man from Gaston, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And then she talks about her roots in Galveston and Louisiana. I mean, yeah, she's straight up country girl. She got country blood in her, man. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't get mad at her because she's highly probably one of the richest women in the world now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the the this song was so well put together. I love the harmonies. The harmonies were what stood out to me in this song the, the most. Yeah. And 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 then and then along with this well crafted wording, uh, the lyrics mm -hmm. and it's just it was a, that was a good opening song. Yeah, I mean, was, I can't think of anything she could have did any better than you know to open with this. Yeah, that was a great intro. All right, but yeah, track two, Blackbird. This is featuring uh, Tanner, Adele, Britney Spencer, Tierra Kennedy, and Raina Roberts. Uh, and apparently this is an original song written by uh, Paul McCartney. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, here's track number two, Blackbird. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Yeah, of course. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. Waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Dead night. Take these sunken eyes and let it fly. All right, that's track number two, Blackbird. What'd you think about that one, Dad? I thoroughly enjoyed that that uh, song. It gave me a feeling like, uh, uh, you know, um, when a mom is like, you know, goes into the kid's room. Sing on my sing. lullaby. Uh -huh. <laughs> that gave, gave me that kind of feel. For sure, I get and those, that. Those harmonies, man, that was just, again, it's amazing. Uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I like that song. That was uh, short and sweet, and uh, I'm not sure who these other uh, women are, but T.R. Kennedy had a pretty prom prominent part. She sung that third verse. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure where the other um, ladies It also made me were. think about... I wonder, I mean, I saw the Tierra on there, and I thought, I wonder why she doesn't ever use any of her old crew in the beginning, of, from the beginning of Destiny's Child on any of her albums. Does she ever do that? Mm. I think they had a song together not too long ago on one of her, uh, I feel like maybe on, I don't know, not really. Mm. Nah, she left them in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> You can bring them back in on a song like they did this girl, you know. I think uh, from what I read, uh, these women are uh, current country, oh, black country, oh, uh, I get it. singers. Okay, so I never heard of them. them yeah, me neither. But I think that's what I read. So okay, uh, cool. but yeah, I like that. I was cool, and I, I recognize that that song and melody. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, cool. So we'll go ahead and move into the next track. This is track number three. <laughs> this is titled 16 Carriages. She is a baddie, ain't she? She's tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my goodness. Yeah, and then the, even like her low vocals, like you were saying, like at the end of that Blackbird song, man, so nice. Yeah. All right, this is track number three, 16 Carriages, produced by Beyonce Inc. and Dave Hamlin. Hamlin. Uh, track three, 16 Carriages. Cool. And I'm just going to go back to the back of the, the end of Blackbird and let it roll into it because it sounds like the transition is going to be pretty cool. Okay, cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's go. She's doing shit with the guitar. 16 Carriages driving away while I Watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road. All the tears I fight, sixteen carriages. 
16 carriages track three what'd you think about that one dad so in this song is she trying to uh, she's giving us a picture of the way she came up she the way she was raised i can't uh, what i'm not grasping is what this uh what the uh significance is of the 16 carriages yeah i was trying to figure out 16 carriages as well so let's see uh okay okay the 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 tour trucks and she's off to the next city Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I could see that. Because, yeah, so she's in the first verse at 15, innocence gone astray, had to leave my home at an early age. Mama praying, daddy grind, all my tender problems had to leave behind. She had to get, all these summers, not in her bed, back of the tour bus. Oh, uh, okay. The bunk with, a be- with mm-hmm. the band, going hard. And then. Sixteen dollars working all day, ain't got time to waste. Got art to make, love to create. Then this, and it was a full circle moment in this third verse because it says something about uh, thirty-eight. Yeah, so now she's thirty-eight. You know, where was that line? Uh, uh, there you go. Yeah. yeah, it's been thirty-eight yeah. summers. I'm mm-hmm. still not in my bed on the back of the bus in the bunk with the van going so hard now I miss my kids overworked now overwhelmed kids, yeah man. yeah so that was yeah that's cool that was a that was a cool song it, it just you know she's letting people know that she she put in the work she earned what she she has mm-hmm. today you know she she actually was on the grind she was like she never let up right you know yeah she even kind of touches on that I had to sacrifice and leave my, my fears behind for legacy it's if it's the last thing I do you remember me because we got something to prove. So she's, you know, trying to leave her imprint. That was a really good song. Yeah, that was great. That was, like, epic. That production was really good. That was yeah. cool. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and get to the next track. This is track number four. It is titled Protector. And it's featuring uh, Rumi Carter. I think that's one of her kids. Hmm. Yeah. One of the younger ones. Okay. All right, here's track four. Rumi. That's a cool thing. Protector. Oh. Mom, can I meet you? The mm. water by, <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> oh, there's a guitar. Yeah. yeah. There's a country feeling. Yeah. yeah. And there I was, tangled up in Marigold. We were listening to the Reverend Children sing. <laughs> Garden river flows while the August light becomes a golden eve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> same, yeah. same. And I will lead you down that road if you lose your feet to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there you are, shaded underneath it all. I feel proud of who I am because you need me. Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. And I will lead you down. If you lose your way, sing your father's case. There's a long line of hands carrying your name. Mm-hmm. Lifting you up. There's a so long line of hands raised. carrying your name. Even though I know someday you're gonna shine on your own. That's right. 
I will be a projector. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah, that was great. Track four, Protector. What did you think about that one, Dad? Man, I, I, that that's, that hit me in my heart, man, because, I mean, from a, a parent's perspective, yeah, that's exactly how a parent feels, you know? Uh, the other thing that I also noticed throughout all her songs, um, she's so, the, the lyrics are so intelligently... <laughs> Her writing is put on together, point. For man. sure. Nah, it's her vivid. Is good. It's 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 things you can see, it's things that she's experienced in her life, you know, all these road trips and tours and being going all around the world. It's mm-hmm. a conglomerate of all that knowledge right there. Man. Yeah. You know? Uh I love that. And the kids, man, it, it, it almost give me tears, man. Yeah. You know, the little kids at the end, you hear them playing and stuff, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Cool, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number five. This is titled My Rose. How many times have you let yourself get the flowers here? I just hope you love yourself like that And I really hope the best oh, for my you goodness. You're my love, my sweetie pie, my baby All right, that is track number five, My Rose What do you think about that one, Dad? Again, you know, she, her words, the lyrics mm-hmm. Are just like, oh man, you, you couldn't you, I mean, you can't even say it better I mean, it's the way she put this song together and the har- Again, the harmonies Yeah, those harmonies were they were just killer. She had some lows and she was high and she was just, oh man, that was really a full, like when she got to the laws, like it was just like so full. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, so far I've heard this from what I've heard from this album, this would be like one of my, my weekend albums when I first, you know, get up, you know how like sometimes on Saturday mornings I like got little chores and stuff to do mm-hmm. and I'm just around the house and I'm just doing my little thing. And I, that's a good listener right there. Or uh, even like during, you know, you know, like holiday times where you just put something on, you want to hear something nice to yeah. hear, you know, just put it on and just let it play, you know, like a, a you know, I don't know, any any occasion where there's family, yeah. you know, gathering or whatever. It's a vibe for sure. Yeah. Sure. We'll go ahead and roll it to the next track. This is titled Smoke Hour Willie Nelson. Uh-oh. <laughs> Willie Nelson. She got Willie Nelson. This, I know this guy feel country. Apparently, you well, can't, yeah, you Will, can't Willie do... Nelson is here as well. All right. All right. Uh, all right, yeah. Let's see. People grinning in your face. <laughs> like, turn the channel That's why I'm on the radio. going to the river to wash my sins away. <laughs> Maybelline, why can't you be true? <laughs> so park your Lexus Ooh. and throw your keys up. Hey. Stick around, <laughs> round, 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 round. Stick around. And I'll be damned Stick if around. I can't slow dance with you. Come throw some sugar on me, honey. Cause that shit ain't pretty. Uh, shit ain't pretty. Sure. We'll get whiskey. Yeah. We're surviving. A red cup kisses, sweet redemption, passing time, yeah. <laughs> Step to the right, we headed to the dive bar. We always thought it was nice. And a real live hold down, don't be a bitch, come take it to the floor now. <laughs> Smoke Hour interlude and then Texas Hold'em. What do you think about that? 
Well, I like the, the beginning touch with Willie Nelson on there, and then the great, great Willie Nelson. Right. <laughs> and then, and then, and then I, I you know, we we uh, we had done this song. We heard this song before, uh, but this is only my second time, you know, hearing it after we we uh, reacted to it before, and it's such a happy song. Yeah, it's so fun. Want, I want to just like. When I'm hearing this song, I wish I knew how to country dance. Yeah. You know, do si do and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? For sure. yeah. And the whistling. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I like it. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number eight. This is titled Bodyguard. Here we go. Mm-mm. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. I whisper secrets in the back beat. And when you kiss my neck, we've been hurting, <laughs> but it's happy hour. Oh, oh, that was a vivid picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Inhaling whiskey when you kiss my neck. Right. Yeah. Right now, that's my favorite. Yeah, that was really yeah, that's good. That's my favorite right there, man. <laughs> honey, honey, <laughs> I could be your bodyguard. Yeah. Oh, man. That, that was, was tight. Yeah, that was tight, man. I loved it. I loved it. I, I knew it was coming. Yeah. I knew she was winding up. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that that production. And like you said, that bass line. Oh, that bass line was oh, crazy. Was, oh, and then man. that little piano yes. chords and the guitar. And then at the end with the electric guitar. That was that was Yeah, sick. she she just leaned into that with attitude. Yeah. Honey, honey. <laughs> I was like, yeah, she was talking yeah, shit on there yeah, too. Yeah, she was. She was like, I'll be your best friend. I'll protect she, you in the mosh pit. I'll <laughs> defend you from gossip. Yeah. She was going John Wayne somebody. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? John Wayne. That ass. <laughs> One, two, three, draw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, that was tough. I like that one. That was a really good song. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number nine is titled Dolly P. Oh. And I believe this is a skit that's going to roll into the next song. Yes. So just let it play through. She's giving the legends their props. Huh? Yeah, like, for sure. Will Nelson, Dolly P. That was hard. Mm-hmm. That was hard. Uh, yeah, so this is Dolly P, and then it's going to roll into Jolene. Okay, this is the... the Everybody's been talking about Beyonce singing this Dolly Parton song. So, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So we'll just let the skit roll into uh, Jolene. Okay. Dolly P skit and then Jolene. Cool. Here we go. Hey, Miss Honeybee, it's Dolly P. You know that huzzy with the good hair you sing about? Reminded <laughs> me of someone I knew back when, except she has flaming locks of Auburn hair. Bless her heart. Hey, don't take the chance because you think you can. She's warning, Jolene. Yeah. <laughs> takes more than beauty and seductive stairs to come between a family and a happy man. Boy, attract 
addicted to my man, but you don't want this small to shoot your chef with someone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's not playing with Jolene. Sure. <laughs> Jolene, 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 Jolene. Jolene better back off. Yeah. <laughs> you woman, find you your own man. Jolene, I know I'm a queen. Jo- to have to talk with you Cause I hate to have to act a fool Your peace depends on how you move Woo! Jolene <laughs> your, your peace depends on yeah. it Cross <laughs> those valleys Highs and lows Came to go up I will plant it seed I know my man's gonna stand by me Breathing in my she slips in and out of the bed She knows it's so good it's truly a professional Ah, uh, let's go Such good music. <laughs> wow. All right. That is Jolene. What did you think about that, Dad? I enjoyed it thoroughly, man. Uh, I think uh, Jolene better keep it moving. <laughs> if she knows what's good for her. <laughs> Oh yeah, point well taken, Beyonce. Yeah, you you ain't playing with Jolene. Uh, and I, so I'm I'm wondering uh, what's the story with her and uh, Dolly and and uh, how this. Yeah, know? so uh, yeah, there was just all this talk about yeah she was gonna do this cover of Jolene, but she kind of flipped it because I think the original Jolene, um, Dolly Parton's country song, mm-hmm. it wasn't like warning another woman to back off. I th- I think uh, let's see. she was saying, I think this woman, oh yeah, she's asked, I'm begging you, please don't take my man, Jolene, please don't take him just because you can. Okay. So, but in Beyonce's version, she was like, you can try it if you want to, she, but yeah, <laughs> I'm warning you. You don't want this heat. Yeah. <laughs> she said, baby, you don't want this smoke. <laughs> so shoot your shot with someone yeah, else. Yeah, Jolene better keep uh, going. There's a thousand girls in every room to act as desperate as you do. She was going in. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was cool, man. I, I like that. That was yeah. great. Great instrumentation. That's cr- creative. Yeah, yeah, she killed it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's freaking killing this whole album. I, I haven't heard anything. It just was like, nah. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna be a fan favorite. Yeah, I, I can see that happening. Mm-hmm. I wonder if uh, the the Dolly Parton fans will think that she did the song justice. Oh man, I hope so, man, because it's all in fun, man, and it's a good creative take on on an already good song, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, she even uh, Dolly Parton. Uh, we haven't listened to Lemonade, but Lemonade is a Beyonce album that she released after um, Jay Z cheated on her. So then she made this whole album about the cheating and the reconciliation and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And one of the most famous lines is on one of the songs where she references Becky with the good hair, and that's who apparently was the side chick that Jay Z did mess with. Yeah. So, oh, okay. In that skit where jo- Dolly Parton was talking to her, she says, "Hey, you know that hussy with the good hair you sing about? Remind me of someone I knew back, except she had flaming locks of auburn hair." So she's, oh, okay. She, Dolly Parton's that's, comparing her Becky with the good hair to her to Dolly's Jolene. Right. That's where it all. Ties oh, okay, in. okay, yeah. I get it. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> That was cool. All right, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number 11. This is titled Daughter. And yeah, track number 12, Daughter. Or 11, okay. Daughter. I really like the instrumentation. Let's start Your out body cool. laid out on these filthy floors. Your blood stains on my custom couture. Father. I am colder than Titanic water. Help me love from <laughs> these fantasies in my head. They ain't never been safe ones. I don't fellowship with these fake ones. So let's travel to White wow. Chapels and sing hymns. Hold roses. Hell of a chorus sing right there. Sing glass symphonies. Cleanse me, Holy Trinity, from this marijuana smoke smell in my hair. I wow. shade my dress. That was tough. 
did my best impression of a damsel in distress Hold his breath before he is dead Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Italian opera. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, Beyonce. <laughs> I got chills. <laughs> That's pretty cold. Yeah. Ooh. All right. That's track 11, Daughter. What did you think about that one, Dad? That was, uh, that, uh, that was an unexpected type of a song. Yeah. Yeah, you had the opera opera singer in there, and um, yeah, the body laying on the floor. Yeah. She just jacked up somebody, and they they bleeding in black and blue, and she said, you know, she's, you know, she's, She's colder than the Titanic water. Your arrogance disturbed my solitude. Oh. Oh, my goodness. That's some deep stuff right there. All right, we'll go ahead and roll to the next song. This is titled Spaghetti. Spaghetti. This features Linda Martell and Shabuzi. We heard Shabuzi before. He's that black dude with the dreads that was singing country music. I showed you this video a long oh, time yeah, ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, yeah okay. <laughs> All right. That's dope. Shout out to Shabuzi. Yeah. Got, up on, got up on a Beyonce album, bro. Yeah. That's tight. Yeah, that's a come up right there. <laughs> For sure. I'm not really familiar with who Linda Martell is, but yeah, we'll get right into it. This is track number 12, Spaghetti. Genres are a funny little concept, aren't they? Yes, they are. That Beyonce Virgo shit. Virgo shit. In theory, they have a simple definition that's easy to understand. But in practice, well, some may feel confined. Okay. I swear for God is by this Jesus. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. But my fingers on finals. And I'm still on your head. Cornrows. They call me the captain, the catwalk assassin. When they know what's slapping, then here okay. come the gapping. All of this snitching and all of this bitching. Just a fishing expedition, dumb admission in the kitchen. Cooking up some chickens Jay-Z extra meat, but I ain't even trying to kick it. <laughs> country, country, petty, petty, petty. All the same to me, plain Jane spaghetti. No sauce, no sauce. Mm. No too sauce. soft, too soft. Mm. They salty, they shooting like bang, but I got shooters and I'm bang, 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 She came hard on this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was tough. Spaghetti, track number 12. What'd you think about that one? Man, had? she came so hard. It was so many hard lines on that bad boy right there, man. <laughs> she was like, I said, oh, you been, you you must have been, uh, Jay-Z done re- rubbed off on her yeah. a little bit there. She got a little talent there, man, yeah. on that rap thing, man. Oh yeah, she's uh, oh I like that part where she said I don't steal on your head cornrows, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, she's got man. It, I mean, this was out of the blue. Didn't expect. I mean, she just came and she came. She she brought her a game. Yeah, that was tight. All right, we'll go ahead and move into the next track. This is track number thirteen. It's the title "Alligator Tears." Alligator Tears, and this is track thirteen. Here we go. All right. The way she she breaks into songs are always so exciting. It's never boring. You yeah. Know? It just comes straight at you. Yeah. City, I'm in too deep. City. <laughs> Mm. And I'll throw on my boots 
13 alligator tears what do you think about that god one? every time i hear a song man i go damn i like that i enjoyed it too that's one of my favorites i mean <laughs> damn I mean, just like all of them are starting to be my favorites right. you know i mean oh man i loved it i loved it i loved it ah, in the alligator tears oh yeah. man and that guitar they they doing a hell of a thing with this guitar on this whole album. Man. Throughout I the love whole album, for sure. I love it. I love it. It just gives it that nice, homey, kind of just country, carefree feel. Yeah, like they it. just buzz it. Like you just buzz out the guitar and just start singing in a small room of people yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, or by uh, a campfire or something. <laughs> right, <Yeah>. right. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it, man. What you, you did Yeah, you I like that song. That was that was a really cool song. I'm I'm kind of trying to figure out what she was trying to say because like in the in the hook, she's like, um, she, she's saying, I, you know, you say move a mountain and I'll throw on my boots. You say stop the river from running, I'll build a dam or two. You say change religions, now I'll spend Sundays with you. But then she says, you and your alligator tears and alligator tears or crocodile tears is mm -hmm. usually when somebody's like fake fake crying to try to get like empathy or I, something. I, I think that's what she's trying to say that. Uh, Whoever this is, she adores so much. He, he he probably puts on these alligator tears, and she's like, "You know, I adore you. I'm just gonna give you what you want. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I, I kind of take it that way too. Yeah, yeah, like he, she knows that he's full of shit, but like yeah, he's like, baby, you know, you know, <laughs> but she just keeps taking no, it back. You know, I adore you. So keeps, what the hell? Yeah, you know? whatever. <laughs> I'll do whatever you say. You're right. <laughs> she just completely surrendered to him. She says, "Squeeze every ounce of love from my body." <laughs> oh, like, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> just say no more. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> right. For sure. That was a cool song. I like that. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and keep rolling. We got uh, another smoke hour from Willie Nelson. Okay. And then that goes into the next track, which is Just for Fun featuring Willie Jones. Uh, so I'll just let the skit play into the next song. Okay. So smoke hour two and then Just for Fun featuring Willie Jones. Here we go. You tuned into KNTRY Radio Texas, home of the real deal. Beyonce. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm going on yeah, that was dramatic. just mm. for fun. I am the man, I know it. And everywhere I go, they know my name. So I laugh and I lie and the coyotes cry and the time moves quickly and so coyotes do I, crying. so do I. So I'll save her. Mm. Five hands. Here's to hoping I'll fall fast asleep tonight, and I'll just need to get through this. Instruments here. Awesome. Yeah. I need to get through this. Ooh, yeah. 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 Ooh, y
just for fun featuring Willie Jones. What do you think about that one, Dad? I didn't see where it was. No, I don't know what's just for fun, but it was a beautiful <laughs> song. Oh man, I enjoyed it. I mean, the uh, again, I, I, the, there's harmonies all throughout this whole song. I mean, this whole album so far are just like you know, it's just heavenly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And uh, these touches that they put, this Willie Jones. Yeah. Oh man, it was great. It was yeah. a great addition. Yeah, and um, I'll just Google him real quick. It looks like another black country singer. So shout out to Beyonce just putting putting these artists on mm-hmm. on display. That's she's being smart for sure. She's, yeah, she's. I I, I like her moves. Mm-hmm. She she is definitely a businesswoman. Yeah, for real, man. She's good. <laughs> That's dope. Just like just giving these people a look that they're probably you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that these people are successful in their own rights. But oh like, yeah. Getting put on a Beyonce album like mm-hmm. that is some serious mm-hmm. exposure, you know, and and it's exposure to a different demographic that probably wouldn't be listening to these artists. So yeah, exactly. And the thing about it is, these artists that she is pulling, man, that that starts to buzz along their their circles mm-hmm. a, a little bit faster too. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, giving her props like, okay, man, she's she's the real deal. Yeah. You know? So uh, uh, props to her, man. Uh, and then she went to what she was on her lower end of her voice again. Oh yeah, for sure. <sighs> It's <laughs> so silky smooth. All right, this is this is one of the songs that everybody is talking about. Oh no, <laughs> Miley Cyrus, yeah, and Beyonce uh, never would have put those two uh, together. If that's what everybody's saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so super excited to hear this. This All is right. track sixteen, two most wanted, produced by Ryan Tedder, Beyonce, and Miley Cyrus. Here we go. Kind of makes sense. She knows a thing or two about. Oh yeah. Miley got some bops. Does she? <laughs> no jump in the gun, but we're both still young. One day we won't be. Okay. Didn't know what I want till I saw your face. Nice. Yeah. Came out and knew it. I could ride up till the day I die. Oh, oh they gave me chills. Out the window flying down the 405. That was fire. Yeah. <laughs> in the wind with my empty hand. My other hand on you. Okay. Been a while since I haven't tried to pull up. But I, Ooh. I'll be a shotgun rider Ooh. till the day I die. <laughs> Smoke out the window, flying down the 405. Yeah, I'll be a backseat, baby, driving you still young. But one day we won't be. I'll go wherever you take me. Seems kind of crazy. We're getting high till we don't realize Time is passing by All right, that's track number 16, Two Most Wanted. What do you think about that one, Dad? Again, in the beginning, when I saw Miley Cyrus on on here, on this song, I thought to myself, who would have thunk? And the thing about it is, they blended so freaking well together it was almost like they were meant to sing together for sure you know what i mean and then it thought to me uh it uh, it occurred to me i said man i probably would have never you know listened to this album ever had we not been doing reactions yeah and i thought to myself man this reaction thing that we do <laughs> is just like it's just so uh it it, it broadened the horizons and open up a whole new world of music. And I've always been a, I just love a music connoisseur. Yeah. But man, this is like a, a, a what you call it, next level type because I, I, I'm just getting so exposed. Yeah. So to many all these different, different things. Car- yeah, man. And this album, man, I, I love it. I love it. I haven't heard one single song that I say, eh, right. skip to the next. All right. <laughs> this my Miley, she brung it, man. She 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 brought her A game, man. I swear to God, man. They they sounded like 
as one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they did. I mean? Oh man, some of those uh, parts where Beyonce gets in her growl that that uh, like oh I freaking that exactly. just gives me the freaking chills. And yeah, you're right. Beyonce and Miley Cyrus, they just sounded so good together. They had their both their voices, the texture to their voices just it was just perfect. That was, that, that was, was fire. It was. That was awesome. I love that. <laughs> Shout out to Miley Cyrus. Yeah, yeah, Miley Cyrus got joints. Miley Cyrus, she she's super talented. I mean, she comes from, you know, her dad's Billy Ray Cyrus. Yo, you know, yeah. Freaking country legend. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. She know a thing or two. Yeah. About but <laughs> she's fantastic. She wow. she has a lot of range and uh emotion in her voice. And mm-hmm. she has she's she's got some beautiful songs. Uh, and this is you can just add this one to the list because wow. her and Beyonce they nailed that. Yeah, they did. Drop some bees in the comments if you hear from the beehive. <laughs> I want to see mad bees in the comments. Yes, we gotta sir. see the bad yes, bees in the comments, yeah. please. Bubble <laughs> bee, beehive, you know the vibes. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll go ahead and. Uh, Get to this track. Levi's Jeans, Beyonce, Post Malone. Here we go. I'm excited for this. <laughs> oh. Shut up. Ooh, we got some 808. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's about to be a vibe. Yeah. I can already tell. Yeah. You can tell. You can tell, right? <laughs> you call me pretty little thing. Say Post Malone, Levi's jeans. What do you think about that? Okay, that's my favorite too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that song was super oh, fun. Man, I that like was that. Vibey, man. That was tight, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just love like the the vibe of that song, the it bounce did. to it. Uh Post Malone's vocals were great. Beyonce, I just love how she uh like drags some of those notes, like like uh, yep, yep. Yeah. That's my favorite part too. That's one of my favorite parts. That was so yeah. tight. Yeah, that was a good one. I did not Man, disappoint. Post yeah. Malone, Miley Cyrus, Willie Jones, yeah. Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton, Shaboozy, Shaboozy. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah right. tons of really great features, but it doesn't even feel like uh, like she's like leaning on these features at all. It's like she's totally. You know, keeping the spotlight on her and all these features are just great additions and just little. It just highlights her flair. Mm-hmm. It's basically, you know, I need this to highlight me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's doing you know, a great it. It enhances topic. her. Man, she, she's mm. killing it. She's killing it. <laughs> we'll go ahead and move into the next track. 
This is track 18. This is titled Flamenco. What's flamenco? Is that like a, like a dance or something? Well, I always thought of flamingo, <laughs> uh, bird, but flamenco. Flamenco, yeah. I think, I think she's it's like a. She's playing off of something. I don't I think know what it flamenco is. Flamenco is a type of music or dance or something. Is it? I don't know. Something like that. But all right, yeah, let's get into it. Track 18, Flamenco. All right. My mind has been telling me to settle right on down. My soul is reminding me that we're forever young. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so good all right that is track number 18 flamenco i don't know what flamenco is but hell just give her the phone book she could just sing uh. the names <laughs> in this sucker man and <laughs> make it sound good right. they used to say that about luther you know uh, he say, say anything. yeah he'd say anything what is this flamenco they didn't give any Art form based on various folkloric music traditions of southern Spain. And it did have a Spanish feel yeah, to it. The guitar, it yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that was a vibe. Uh yeah, that was cool. That was a short little yeah, yeah. kind of transition. Just enough, just yeah. enough. You but know, even in a freaking one minute and forty second song, the writing, <laughs> the instrumentation, her freaking voice. So powerful. Yeah, man. it was just, just like, like packed in. I'm just like, you just want to just don't stop singing. Just keep going, yeah. you know? <laughs> Damn. I mean, I, you, you know, honestly, I have to say, man, I used to did not respect her voice. Yeah. I didn't, man. I, I just thought uh, everything I heard of Beyonce was all the commercial crap. Mm -hmm. You know, I never did dive deep into her actual music. Yeah. So all the commercial stuff, usually it usually turns me off, especially with big artists like this, because all you hear is the same thing over and over again. So I'm just like, eh, it was okay. Yeah. You know, and all I could think of when I heard, when I thought of Beyonce, it was, uh, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and now, I mean, now that I've heard two albums from her, uh -huh. man. Yeah. <laughs> Beyonce, she's the stuff. Yeah, so these names that she's got on here, like the legends, Dolly Parton, Willie Nelson, Linda Martell, wow. Like, that is such a, like, cosign. Like, what? How could y'all say any? Don't say nothing to me about country if I got Willie, Dolly, and Linda Martell giving me the, giving me the go ahead. Y'all can all shut up. <laughs> yeah. Made her first appearance on the Grand, Grand Ole Opry. Um, a black woman? Yeah. That's, that's huge. That's huge. That's amazing. Wow. Good for her. That's mm -hmm. and yeah, great having her on this uh on this album. Okay, cool. So uh we'll go ahead and move into this track, the Linda Martell show, followed by Yaya. Thank you so very much. Ladies. Oh, please. Oh. We want to welcome you to the Beyonce Cowboy Club nice. yeah. at 2. Uh, and the Rodeo Chillin' Circuit. We're going to make it do what it do. Yeah, yeah. Rodeo Chillin' Circuit. We clapping. Uh, this is we an old-fashioned hoop nanny. Yeah. <laughs> Pistol on the day. Vibrations, he's the 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Little Beatles. Ladies. Yeah. Fuck it. We shaking. Hey. <laughs> 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 we jerking. Oh, hey, twerking. <laughs> we twerking. <laughs> you want to touch it, don't you? Come uh-huh. in your body. Come up and rub and buy it. Got me ooh and you might know what you're doing. Yeah. Put the bands to bed. We sweat out the sheets. Got you up all night and now you don't want to leave. No. <laughs> I can soothe your pain. Go ahead. Well, I'm not going to call my name. Yeah. I'd love to see a video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this song, yeah. Woo! We ain't got no bricks. <laughs> there you go. I just want to show my ass. <laughs> It like flows into the next one pretty good. That was Yaya, the Linda Martell show. What'd you think about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would love to see this put into a video. I man. know. I would, I would just, you know, because the song is so fun. Uh, I mean, I could just imagine, you know, some of the things that they could do with the lyrics and, and tie it into a video. Yeah. Oh, man, that would be great. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is uh, Oh, Louisiana. Oh. And uh, this looks like a shorter song. Oh, she got a Chuck Berry in there. Yeah, so I wanted to see what that transition sound like from Yaya into this because it sounded like it just kind of flowed seamlessly yeah. into it. Okay. So here is uh, track 21, Oh, Louisiana. Famous runs. Glass of water. Is it hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Yeah, Beyonce. Oh, man, she's something else, man. Beautiful song. Another yeah. good song. Uh, what do you think about the Chuck Berry sample in uh, Old Louisiana? <laughs> well, I was surprised because I thought I was going to actually hear Chuck Berry's voice, and then she turned into a chipmunk. Uh, she did a Kanye <laughs> on us. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I liked it, though. It was yeah. good, you know. Um, and I like to, you know, the words, the lyrics to this song was, you know, if you you, you uh, start focusing in on that, man, it's like make them cash app to see the rodeo, put me on the show, I'll make it nasty. I was like, oh, Jeez, <laughs> uh, she was going crazy. Yes, she was. Yes, she Drink was. me till it's done. Eat it up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, oh, I keep it classy. Let me love you. Let me love me like a lady. Oh, you love goodness. me like a lady. Dozy do it get creamy in the middle. Ow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nah, that was fire. <laughs> but yeah, here is track number 23 River Dance. <laughs> About to do it, you know how they do it. Then other one goes, do it, answers back to each other. Dance, 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 bounce on 
that shit, damn. Damn. Bounce on that shit, damn. Damn. Bounce on that shit, damn. Damn. All of those chords already. Bounce on that shit, damn. Damn. Bounce on that shit, 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 damn. What you think about that one, Dad? I love the instrumentation on this whole thing, man, and that it that driving beat, and then uh, it's doom, 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 yeah. and then you got that guitar man talking to you the whole time, and she's yeah. and I'm like, oh, oh, dance, uh, dance, love it. dance, dance, yeah, <laughs> that was all super catchy. That was yeah. cool. Yeah, um, I like the vibe of that. That was cool, and I like how yeah, like she just kept repeating the chorus after every. Like it was real short verses, but every verse she would kind of like add to to the story. Yeah, that was that was dope. Yeah, it was. That was a dope song. I, I like that one again. Uh, again, for sure. Beyonce going crazy on this album. All right, we'll go ahead and move into the next track. This is track number twenty four, Two Hands to Heaven. All right. Yeah. Uh, here we go. song on this album, man. She wasted no time getting right at right to it. Yeah. Pie, two hands to heaven while touch my baby. Uh, uh, who am I to love my baby? Uh, uh, purple colored pink sugar cane. Hitting them 16 switches. Candy apple green. Candy paint. Swirling 24 inch spinners. Swirl. Don't judge me, baby. <laughs> you would never judge me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the yeah. best years of your life. <laughs> you and 
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> Two hands to heaven. What'd you think about that, Dad? She took my breath away on that one. For man. real. <laughs> Shoot. She was in a bag right there. Mm -hmm. She was, oh my goodness. Man, she took you on a journey, man. Just, oh. And then at the end, you hear that. It was like, sort of like a clap. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, but throughout the whole song, man, she just. Yeah. She took you on a ride. You know what I mean? That was so great. And uh, the way she just speaks into her partner and the love. Your love runs through me like lava. Put, you know, uh, what'd she say? Where was that? I'll never stop you. You'll never stop me from being whatever we need to be. And in these dark times, I'm so glad that this love is b blinding because all I see is the best of you and all you see is the best of me. Uh, <laughs> so fire. <laughs> For sure. She knocked that out of the freaking park, man. <sighs> that was so good. That was so such good. a beautiful song. Oh, yeah. I really like that one. <laughs> you beautiful. think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll go ahead and move into the next track. Uh, sounds like this song was about to transition really well into the next one. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and just pull that back a few seconds. And yeah, yeah we'll start uh, at the end of Riverdance. I mean, at the end of Two Hands to Heaven and roll right into Tyrant to the next track. And uh, yeah, here we go. Produced by DA Got That Dope. <laughs> It looks like we got some more Dolly Parton vocals on here. Okay. Here we go. Tyrant. Dope. Mm -hmm. Life. Cowboy Carter. Time to strike a match and light up this juke joint. Light up this <laughs> juke joint. <laughs> Whoa. She got that water, hangman got that water. Don't act like you don't know. Giddy up, giddy up, hey. oh. Don't pay me in gold. Giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up. Yeah. I'm on the road. Giddy up, giddy up, hey. When the sun goes, every time I ride this, I don't like to sit up in the saddle, boy. I got it. Just relax, I got this. I got that anxiety. So, so hypnotic. I am such a tie. Send me some shots. Shoulder when you reload the gun tyrant. Every time I ride it, every time I ride it, make it look so good. Try to justify it. Boy, you know wow. you're looking for me. How we gonna hide like it? Like hydraulic. Yeah. I am such a tyrant. <laughs> tyrant. You get used to the haunting. I like to cry. That little fiddle thing yeah. is fire. <laughs> That is track 25, Tyrant. What do you think about that one, Dad? I was just thinking about uh, when she's singing the lyrics of this song, and then mm -hmm. I thought to myself, and I thought to, I thought about Jay-Z. Every time I see a picture of him, he's like, yeah. <laughs> she didn't just work that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you were going. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I always seem like he's so laid back. He's like, uh, he's chill. Chill. <laughs> oh. 
Facts. Yeah, I'm good, y'all. Yeah. Well, I don't care what y'all doing over yeah. there. I'm good. Whatever, I'm bro. Good. <laughs> oh, facts. Giddy up. Right. Giddy right. up. Right. She's oh, a man. tyrant. Sheesh. <laughs> Bro, you got your hands full. That's what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Ooh. that was super fun. They got a cool bounce. Yeah, you know, we got some trap drums. Mm -hmm. DA got that dope. Just coming through. And then the, the violin that yeah, was in there. Oh, that, that was, was so a sweet cool. touch, man. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that. That was a vibe. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll go ahead and roll into the next track. I was like, Beyonce, boy, she know how to talk shit now. Yeah. She's a good shit talker, man. She is. Oh, man. She means it, though. I mean, she ain't talking. It's just a Oh, she, she, she backing hers up. Facts, facts, boy. <laughs> so recognize. We'll let the uh, the end of tyrant roll into this next track. This is titled "Sweet Honey Bucking." No. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and this is uh, Beyonce and Shabuzi again, and uh, this one's produced by Pharrell. Uh oh, yeah, Pharrell beat huh? <laughs> for sure. <laughs> So All right. Looking forward to this. So, uh, yeah, uh, the end of Tyrant into Sweet Honey Bucking. Here we go. Still in the field like cat. Cadillac back on the road. We take your roof 44. Just say what you need from the stove. Oh, oh, oh. Put some grits on the stove. Chiffy cool. cornbread, booty corn fed, body rolls at the rodeo. I'm coming home. Booty corn fed, Chiffy cornbread. Riding through just to put my eyes on you. You are the superstar. Everybody driving no new cars. I feel a wind on my skin. Oh, oh yeah, she's oh, talking her oh, shit on this one. <laughs> they listen, don't listen to them. They bite every once and again, but it gets stomped on when we oh, book it. Book it. Book it. Whoa. Book it. Book it. Book it. Like a mechanical bull. Book like a mechanical bull. Book it. Yeah. Book it. Whoa. Book it. Book it. A good night flow of the money is full. Oh, oh. Look at that horse. Look at that horse. Look at that. Okay. Like a mechanical bull. Hey. Look at that horse. All right, that is sweet honey bucking. Sweet honey bucking. Like a mechanical bull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beyonce Shabuzi Pharrell. What'd you think about that one? Yeah, it was a good song, man. I'm loving it, man. I'm just like <laughs> it <was good. laughs> taking it all in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good song, man. I love. I, I mean, I wanted to see on this one though. Uh, um, for real, I wanted. I don't know. I, I wanted to. See, I don't know what I wanted to see out of for real, but I didn't see the real. I didn't seem like I seen the real for real. Yeah, he played. He played more just like a production. He he did do some like background vocals, kind yeah. of like some like ad libs and here and there. But yeah, he didn't do too much. But yeah, I thought that was just cool how it was like pretty much three three different songs in this one song. One song, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that last part, that bucket part, that was hard. That's Beyonce getting in her rapping bag again. Yeah, she, she was. was. I was like, oh, killing it. Yeah. yeah. She talks about her Grammy snub, the album of the year I didn't win. I ain't stunned about them. Take that on the chin, come back and F up the pen. Mm-hmm. 
So she was like, look, I didn't win the last one, but shoot, we're going to get right back to it. And she said something about her mom. When she said, look at, look at her. She was like, I guess she's like, see, her mama fine too. She yeah, like, it's in my DNA. Look at my mama. It's a trait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. Yeah. Mama nah, is fine too. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Miss Tina Knowles. Well, that's right. Yeah, no, that was that was a good one. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll into the last track here. This is titled Amen, track 27. All right. Uh, of this epic long album of Beyonce, uh, Cowboy Carter, track 27, Amen. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to go to the end of uh, Buck and so right. we can roll Just into that. Into yeah. It. yeah, cool. That's an interesting use of the trumpet. Yeah. It's like they got one of those. You know how they put that little cylinder looking thing yeah, in, inside. So powerful. Oh my goodness. All right. That is Amen. Track twenty seven. What do you think about that one, Dad? That was a <laughs> epic ending. To a a beautiful journey, man. yeah, and and then you know she started out talking about American Requiem, mm-hmm. and then she ended it the same way. I mean, she took it out speaking on I mean, brought you back to the subject matter, yeah. So, um, but the you, that trumpet was what, what intrigued me on that last song. Mm-hmm. The way that like you got to be a hell of, you got to be a hell of a trumpet player to get that effect like it and be consistent with it through us throughout the whole song. Mm. Whoever that guy was, he had to probably be the best of the de- best, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, so I, that you know that alone in that song right there was amazing to me. Uh, but then you know those harmonies and uh, the breakdown, and that was a short song, but she had like a. a um, what you call a switch up or uh, what do you call it when you just because she was she was in in a, a certain kind of uh, rhythm and then it it, it broke down yeah. in, again in another part it just sounded uh, uh different from the first part of the song mm-hmm. and I, I enjoyed that uh, just what she did with that short song she does i mean but with her man it, it there was a lot of short songs on this album mm-hmm. but she did a whole lot with just the you know that little sample that she gives you yeah for sure it's just packed with talent and power and musical geniusness yeah uh, you know it's just <laughs> man bianca beyonce killed it on this man i just and these surprise guests man yeah i love these the features were really good i think my biggest surprise was the uh Miley. Miley. <laughs> <laughs> you knew what i was gonna say right <laughs> sure. yeah definitely yeah. i yeah that was definitely the best collaboration on the album mm-hmm. and all the collaborations were really good but that one yeah that one definitely took the cake wow that was a uh, honestly I, did, I didn't really know what to expect i didn't i didn't know if i was gonna really neither did i i didn't this. know what to expect either but you know i kind of thought because it was her that it was going to be something monumental i thought it was going to be something great but you never know you never know right but that that came through i i really enjoyed that that was i, I think she took good a big risk and you know trying something different but she delivered she yeah. freaking killed that we're definitely gonna have to listen to renaissance you know and you look at the great ones man out there they they're the ones they date they, they're the ones that take the risk they they are not afraid to take the risk mm-hmm. i mean like your boy yay you know he's always doing something <laughs> different man and throwing out little statements like i created this era of music and <laughs> just I mean, they're pioneers, man. You yeah. know what I mean? And she's 
She's in a class of her own, man. I don't know who who you can even compare her to. Who even even comes close? Yeah, I agree. She is a once in a generation type of artist. Um, Beyonce is just so great, and she has been killing it for her so long. Her she dropped her first solo album, Dangerously in Love, in two thousand three. Mm-hmm. It is twenty twenty four. That's twenty one years of. Killing it. Solo greatness, not to mention her incredible career with be, uh, Destiny's Child. Like, Yeah, I'm just thinking, of, I, as you you speaking, I was thinking about what, just what I said when uh, I said, who can compare to her? So, you know, you have these female greats like your uh, Taylor Swift and, mm-hmm. and whatnot, and, and they're monumental stars, Lady, Ga- Lady Gaga's and Kelly Clarkson's and whoever, you know, uh, but... Who can, I mean, I can't see anyone that compares to her when they put that whole entertainment act together in concert Mm -hmm. because her dancing abilities are like, you know, she's like, you remember we used to, uh, for the males, you look at your your Chris Browns and your your Usher and Mm -hmm. and, and, and guys like that, and they're, they're the dancers, entertainer, and singers. And I don't, I can't think of any females that does it better than her or even close to her. You know, with the dancing and the singing. Nah. Okay, we can go way back and refer her to maybe like a Janet Jackson. Right. But then right. Janet don't have the pipes. The pipes like, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I think like the closest comparison you're going to get is like Taylor Swift just because they do like so, they're so big and uh, they move so many units and stuff. But mm-hmm. like, yeah, once you throw in the entertainment portion, the dance part. Yeah. I mean, Beyonce just washes. Taylor Swift when it comes does to she, that. Does Taylor Swift? She dances. I mean, but it's more like choreogra- choreo- choreographed. Yeah, is it kind of that kind of dancing? Yeah, yeah, I mean. It's cool. I mean, I, it's I, like I non, enjoy it's it. It's like non-season dancing. Right. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> non-season dancing. Oh, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that in my memory bank right there. Non-season dancing, yeah. that's a new one for me. Yeah, nah, okay. we're in the same space. This is just us in the beehive here right now. So they, they we cool, good, we, we cool. good. <laughs> Yeah, man, I enjoyed that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment and let us know what we should Ooh. react to next. Turn your post notifications so you're notified every single time we drop a new video. And if you like our videos, but you want to see the uncut, unedited versions, so make sure you, you check can't out our Patreon. You can't even talk straight after that. <laughs> the Patreon link is down below in the description. Uh, please, Beehive, drop many, many bees, uh, bumblebees in the chat and share this video with all your friends and family. Uh, tag Beyonce. We love uh, this album and Beyonce, and we love you guys. So thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.